And I've watched him grow, I've watched him perform, I've watched him mature, and I watched him saw how much hard work he put into his project. So if you have not got the copy of Lovely, please make sure you get a copy before you leave tonight. But right now, I want your undivided attention on this stage. I want you to make some noise for Young Sincere! What's up, y'all? It's Sincere. Uh, big shout out to Juicebox.com, uh, number one in the IE, best website, hands down. Always showing support, always showing love to every artist in the IE. Uh, one up, one love. Juicebox. Hi, this is Lorianne for Juicebox.com here with Young Sincere. Hi, Juicebox, how's it going? So, first of all, how did you get your name? Um, the definition of sincere is to be honest through all that you do. So, I felt like it'd only be right to be, you know, I, I, everything I write is true. I don't write anything that's like uh, not real or anything. Everything I put in my lyrics, I relate to somehow. So, I'm just being sincere, sincere through my music. What got you into music? Like, what are some of your inspirations? Um, I grew up listening to George Burns, that's my dad, and Cass One, he's my uncle. And I just grew up listening to them, um, doing music. I was never really a big hip hop fan until um, I would just ride with them in the car. They're playing the new like G Unit that came out, or if they're just playing instrumentals or remixes they were doing in their own music. And I just picked up on that, and yeah, it, just built, it was just a snowball just building up from there. How did you come up with the name for your album, Lovely? Uh, Lovely was a concept I came up with. Um, inspiration came from a song um, from this band called 21 Pilots. And um, in this chorus it says, I will make you believe you are lovely. And I kind of took that to heart into um, talking to like people I interact with. And then I just started writing love songs because I believe love songs are like the best songs to write. Not just generic ones though, just ones that have concepts and meaning behind them. So I started writing the love songs and I just eventually came up with a script for it. And so the, I guess one of the uh, protagonists in the story, what is lovely is the girl in the album and her name is Lovely. Can you talk about some of the features on the album? Uh, features, I have uh, my friend, the one and only Zeke. I have Cam Archer. I got King Dice, Juicebox's very own. I got Young Miss. I have Slick C, my label mate, and Sunny Babble on my project. As well as Bam Bam from Q104.7. He is the narrator in a sense of the album. Can you talk about some of the production on your album? Uh, production on this album is crazy. I have Slick C, I have Young Miss, I have King Dice, I have uh, The Sculptor, I have Bobby Lowe, and Postmodern Twist, all produced um, at least one of the songs on this album. What was the inspiration for your project and how was the process of putting it together? Uh, it was a very long process. Uh, I spent about a year on this project. Um, a lot of like writing something into the script and taking it out. Um, the inspiration came from, I guess, like past experiences from like whether it be relationships or friendships and just going from there, whether it be um, a song about me trying to get a girl's attention to a song to me explaining to this girl why I love music so much or to the last song where I'm kind of coping with the loss of the relationship but more of it being like a closure song and closing that chapter of my life. Do you have like social media, Facebook, Twitter, all that? 
Yes, on Facebook, you can find me on the Money Music page. Just uh, look at Money Music on Instagram. You find me at Angel of the Way or Zexy Prophet, Z E X Y Prophet as in money. And Insta, um, Twitter, sorry, Twitter, I am at A Y E underscore sincere. Snap juice. <laughs> no wonder it tastes so good.